And Alexa, thank you very much. Here with John Gillies and uh, just an unbelievable sequence over the course of the last few days. Different goaltenders coming in and out. Describe the last five, six days for you, John. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, whirlwind's the best way to describe it. I mean, obviously, uh, this place is awesome. I mean, last year, I think because of COVID, we spent more time together as a group than, than usual. And so uh, formed a lot of close relationships, relationships and stuff like that. So it was fantastic to be back. And then Charlie played great uh, Wednesday and Friday. And we got a point, uh, which we got two, but that's the way it goes. How much did that help you settle in, having been here last year, being around the guys in the organization? Oh, it makes all the difference. I mean, it, uh, it, it I, it's not a tough, I would, I would say it's a unique situation, not a tough one, but I think the familiarity factor really, really helps and uh, really, really helped. So I was happy that it was here. You hadn't played a game in the NHL since 2018. What was this afternoon like? Were you able to stick to your normal routine? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't stray too much, thankfully. Uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of all, it's, it's chances and breaks, right? I mean, guys get them at different times, and, and I, you know, I uh, had, uh, like you said, 2018 was the last one, and then you don't think it's going to be that long. But, I mean, it, it, it's look, looking back, it looks a lot shorter than it was waiting for it to come. So I was happy to get the chance, and like I said, happy to get a point uh, and move on. It's been a whirlwind of a year for you, too, right? You spent some time with the East Coast League. You've been with two different American Hockey League teams. Did you ever think that this opportunity would be there for you again? Yeah, because I think that was the whole point of, I mean, starting off uh, where I started off, it, it was because it's my hometown. It was a chance to play a game and uh, get back and then head up uh, the road to, or down the road to Providence, which is another place that's very familiar to me. So uh, I was happy to be able to start off the year. Uh, in places I was familiar with, like here, I mean, it, it makes a big difference. And uh, just in general, it it's just kind of take it as it comes. That's really the best way to put it. And but I do feel that I belong here, and I do know that uh, I can play, and I do know that I can be successful in this league. So, like I said, the didn't you never think the gap between games is going to be as long as it as it was for for me but everyone has different journeys and so i'm happy to at least for one game we got him back all right let's talk about the game here tonight how'd you feel were you comfortable from the beginning yeah it's very comfortable i mean uh the system that we play is is very conducive to to goalies i mean and uh the I mean, it was a tough situation for both teams. I know Anaheim traveled last night after playing and back-to-back -back for us as well, three games in four days. So it was just going to be a grind. I thought we hung in there. I thought we played a really, really good game uh, all the way through. And, you know, we'd like to come up with, with another save there to finish it off in regulation. But uh, take the point, and one's better than none. All right, you made some big saves throughout the game. But what were you thinking? The penalty shot, the penalty was taken. What were you thinking then? I was going five hole. We've all seen the World Juniors video and stuff like that. He's he's a very skilled player. I mean, uh, in fact, I know I've played against him back in in that Pacific Division when I was in Calgary as well. So uh, that was kind of it. Really wasn't. I wouldn't say I, like guess or anything. I just I thought he was going five hole, and then before I could really adjust, he he roofed it. So it was a great move. All right, great job tonight. Thank you. All right, that's John Gillies, guys. He once scored a goal in the USHL. Look that up on YouTube as well, Alexa, as we send it back over to you.